Did you know you can control how big succulents grow? Well, up to a point as there are always exceptions, but we'll get to those later. This little plant is the same age and the same cultivar as all of these other plants in bigger pots. They were all the same size about three months ago. The reason it is so small is the size of its pot. You see, I've repotted the others into much larger pots providing more growing space and nutrients to produce leaves and new offsets. And so they grew while this little guy got more and more root bound, hardly producing any new growth. The interesting thing is how even this one growing in a 10 cm pot is smaller than the ones behind it in a 12 cm pot. You will notice it has one offset growing at the bottom. But the plants in the 12 cm pots have two large heads and multiple small offsets at the bottom. If I was to put them in a larger pot, they would quickly double in size again. All of these plants looked identical a few months ago and by simply giving some of them more space they have quickly changed the way they grow. But not everyone wants huge succulents. I have had plenty of customers that wanted their plants to stay small and so you can use this method in reverse. Succulents can be kept fairly small by keeping them in small pots but there can be many disadvantages to this type of growth manipulation. In small pots, succulents will start losing their bottom leaves and will need extra TLC to be able to survive. Also, not all succulents will respond the same and many can die as a result. Personally, I usually repot all my succulents to grow as big as possible using fresh succulent potting mix and larger pots. I've repotted the poor little baby as well so it can grow and produce offsets and leaves I can propagate. If you'd like to learn more about reporting or how to make your succulents grow bigger, you can go ahead and watch the videos above. You can also visit our website succulentgrowingtips.com where we have a few articles on this very subject. And that's it for today. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you very much for watching.